some closure tonight for the family of a murder victim who has been wondering for six years who killed their loved one. Good evening, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. I'm Ann Nyberg. The 26-year-old woman was found dead in the basement of her Milford home in 2006. Tonight, her family got the call from police that an arrest has finally been made. News 8's Jamie Muir live in News 8 Control tonight with reaction from the victim's brother. Jamie. Well, Keith, six years, as you know, a long time. And in this arrest warrant, police are calling this murder a crime of passion. Duche was bludgeoned to death in her basement, yet police found her blood in a first floor bathroom, indicating her killer tried to clean himself after the crime. Well, tonight her brother tells us there is thanks to a police department for never giving up. Six years ago, a family's future was forever clouded by an alarming discovery. 26-year-old Alexandra Duche's body was found in the basement of her Milford home on Booth Bay Street. It, it, it's been a long and, and painful process. Um, Life has changed so much in the past six years uh, with the absence of my sister. But the Duche family finally received good news upon hearing that 40-year-old Matthew Pugh was arrested for her murder, a death police call a crime of passion that was brutal in nature. The arrest warrant obtained by News 8 reveals Pugh and Duche had at one point a relationship that ended when Pugh went to state prison. Pugh, according to the victim's mother, did not take it well. A letter he sent to Alexandra in 2004 reads in part, quote, Maybe you need your expletive kicked by some expletive just to get that expletive out of you. I will make your life a living hell. This news is, is long overdue and we're very happy to, to see this day uh, finally come. Over the six and a half years, it finally culminated in this arrest. And, and again, I hope that this offers some sense of solace to the Deshay family. Pew was arraigned in Milford and is being held on a $2 million bond. During the six-year investigation, police also learned that Pugh told his cousin in 2005 he was thinking of ways to how he could kill Alexandra and then cover it up. He continued to deny his involvement, but DNA, along with cell phone records, placed him at her house the day she was brutally attacked. Zan was a, a fabulous sister and an even better person. Um, anyone who's filed the case will know she had her own charity set up, which used to uh, run during the Christmas time. They used to go to help underprivileged kids in New Haven and Bridgeport, and, and she was just a saint all around. She was a fabulous sister, and I will, uh, I'll never forget her, and I carry her with me every day of my life. Pew is in court again later this month. Now, the arrest warrant is a very detailed read about how this whole crime took place and then how police were led to Pew, and you can read this arrest warrant on our website at WTNH.com. We're live at News 8 Control. I'm Jamie Miro. News 8.